Hi Aries, welcome to your December monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card. Remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. Always trust your intuition. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. My fire signs for December. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. This came out for, I think it was Gemini. So you might want to check out that reading. Exact same spot too. Focusing on your craft, focusing on your business, studying. Also, my card of meditation because she's focusing really intently on that candle. So that's a form of meditation. Also following the moon cycles, tapping into that vibe. And, ooh, Knight of Swords. So possibly taking this business and moving it somewhere. That's what I'm feeling with that combo. Let's see past our outside influences. Nine of Pentacles. I love that. This builds on this energy where you want to create something that's your own so that you can come become more independent with the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the strength card with that too. So knowing that you have the fire, that inner strength to take this and become the Knight of Swords and moving it, move it forward really quickly. I see your boxer lessons. Ooh, the devil. Yeah. Could be addiction issues. Also feeling controlled. You can see he's trying to control something or someone. Let's pull one more for Aries. Six of Cups. Okay, so this for me is saying that there is something from the past that is preventing you from moving forward. It's actually a block. It's blocking you. You're feeling controlled by something from the past. And it's preventing you from moving forward like the Knight of Swords wants to move forward. Let's cover him. Okay, let's see how your person or situation is feeling about you. It's a love reading. Two of Pentacles. So they see you as still trying to find balance between work and play. And the Nine of Wands. They're also feeling defensive and not sure if you want to move forward, I'm feeling, with them. Because you're focused on your Nine of Pentacles. You're also almost done the cycle of the coins, this earth cycle, as well as this fire cycle. So you could possibly be deciding if you want to start over, let's see, intentions, four of wands. So your intention is to have this commitment. This is my card of commitment, coming together in celebration. Let's see, one more. Four Aries. Six of Swords. I feel like you're still torn. I might actually not be able to decide in December. Still taking that time to go within here with the Six of Cups. And then you're still undecided. Let's see what the universe has to say. Because the part of you wants to be committed and then the part of you wants to go elsewhere to brighter horizons. Ace of Swords. So as you move away with the Six of Swords, it will create a spark. This was the epiphany that you had possibly. It's also above the Devil card. So you had the epiphany that you didn't have to be controlled anymore. That you are in control of your own life. You can let go of the past here. Whatever's holding you back. You can let that go. And the Tower. Whoa. <laughs> so this Tower moment this epiphany, this was a breakthrough actually. This was a good tower moment. This card for me is more often than not a breakthrough rather than a breakdown moment, which is allowing you to be more authentic and to create a reality that you really want for yourself. Okay, let's clarify the two of pentacles, nine of wands. 
This is a love reading for you. Oh, I really want a card to fly out, so <laughs> be patient. <laughs> this one, okay. Oh wow, Ace of Wands, I love that. So there is a potential for a new beginning within this connection. For some of you, it's also the sign that this Nine of Wands is over and you want to start something new here with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords here, the two Aces. It's actually a good confirmation of starting over, starting fresh, whatever that means for you. And the Death Rebirth above the Four of Wands, Six of Swords. So I feel like this is completely in your hands. You can have the death of the ego on both parts and be reborn into this relationship. Or you can end the cycle and be reborn here in a new direction. Interesting. So let's clarify this Ace of Swords in the Tower. Now I'll pull an Oracle card for you. Oh, that was not it. Aries. One more card. Oh, that one. Okay. <laughs> Four of Swords. Ouch. It was reversed, though. I only do reversals if it flies out that way. So you could see this is the card of a truce. It's about putting down the swords so that you can heal yourself and move this air energy forward so maybe that was the breakthrough at first you didn't want to put down your swords you weren't willing to accept the energy of a truce and now you are hopefully <laughs> that's the message and then you could start over with the ace of wands and the ace of swords and then the new cycle I love that all right, Oracle card for Aries, fire sign. I'm an Aries moon, so <laughs> I feel it. Oracle card, Priestess of the Light, Oracle deck. These were all original oil paintings, so my favorite Oracle deck right now. This one. Miracles, number 39, Ancient Wisdom. Wow. So tapping into the miracles of your life. Also my card of doing research or reading about miracles that have happened in the past so that you can feel that energy and start to believe in the possibility of miracles. Also the Ancient Wisdom of Miracles and the history of it. I feel that's really important too for this reading. All right, Aries, I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of December. Hope to see you for the mid-monthlies, if not into the new year. Bye for now.